It's a work which is very much about entering into an immersive environment. We try to make each installation very unique to the actual space it's installed. In the man atrium is that you're able to work with the verticality for the first time of the work. Using nine screens where you're able to sort of move between screens or view them from different angles. We're trying to encapsulate this idea of movement both in the work but also in how you view the work. Well the inspiration for 10,000 Waves begins in Morecambe Bay in 2004 when 23 Chinese cockleshell pickers from the Fujian province from China died when they were trying to pick for cockleshells in the north of England. I felt very moved by the tragedy because people had come from such a far distance to meet this kind of horrid end. And I thought it would be very interesting to try to view this tragedy not from the kind of European point of view, but almost from a Chinese point of view. And it took us about three years to discover the Mazu fables. Mazu, who is the sea goddess from the Fujian province where the Chinese coffee shop pickers originated from. And one of the things I thought that would be very interesting is to try to view this from Mazu's point of view. And in bringing the lost souls back to China, so to speak, through Mazu's journey, which spans over, I would say, 400 years of Chinese history, begins in modern day, then we go to 30s Shanghai, and then we end up in the Ming period in 15th century China. We shot in Guangxi province in China. Of course, having Maggie Chong play Mazu was sort of very important. And one of the things I think in relationship to making the work was the idea of trying to use Brechtian devices, ways of trying to alert the audience that they're watching a film. For example, in the green screen section, when you foreground it, it doesn't necessarily take away, let's say, the magic of those scenes. In the same way that there's labour into people picking cockle shells, there's labour into making images, and you can't make images without that labour. One of the important collaborations is working with different composers. Ja Wobble has a band called the Chinese Dub Orchestra. And so there's this marry between East and West in his work. And then of course there's the work that was done by the sound designer, Mukul Patel, and also Adam Finch, who is the multiple screen editor of all my works. And then the 9.2 surround sound dubbing that we made for the work was very unique. We were trying to make a piece of work that would have sound become more sculptural in the space and also become foregrounded as well as the image. And in a way, when you make a multiple screen work, you're, you're able to make those kind of decisions in a much more sort of creative manner. There are all of these sort of aesthetic quests that we wanted to sort of pursue in making the work um, to make it a unique experience.